class. Magna cum laude. Magna cum laude. That's Latin meaning. If you folks drive home after the show, be sure and use a car. Uh-oh. What's this? This is an old character actor on the Paramount lot we try to keep working. He's supporting a large family. But I guarantee you this fellow will not be in the picture tonight. Well, sir, on the show. I'll be waiting. And though you face grave danger, be brave. Be fearless. For oh, remember, darling, you are Julie, son of Paleface. <laughs>
Look, a scratch on my mudguard. Sheriff, where's the sheriff here? I'm the sheriff. Oh, you, you're the man? Well, sheriff, run down the corner and get me a crooked lawyer. How oh, do you like that? I... Look at that fellow rolling in the mud. Arrest him for drunk driving. I'm an innocent man, and if you have any justice in you, accept my bribe. What's the big idea? Look what you did to our wife. My horse. Quarantine that beast. He's got chicken pox. Listen, you, please. Lips to touch liquor shall never touch mine. I never touched a drop in my life. Yeah, somebody's been putting bourbon in your toothpaste. Boy, you get your hands off of me. I'm engaged to be married. And you stop puckering up. I wouldn't kiss you either. Now look, Sheriff, I would... <coughs> Please, no dancing. Just a minute. Are you okay for that wagon, stranger, or you'll go to the hoosgow? The hoosgow? Oh, the hoosgow. Hold on, you can't put a Harvard man in jail. It's unsanitary. What are you going to pay for that wagon with? Preposition at the end of a sentence. And you split your infinitive. Next thing you know, you'll be dangling his participle. Oh, shame on you. The school marm will certainly hear about this, sir. Now, if one of you cousins direct me to the bank, I'm here to claim the inheritance left to me by my daddy, Pale Face Pot. You Pale Face's son? You're staring right at him. Hey, Liam! Son of Pale Face is here! Pale Face! Son of Pale Face! Hurry up, they're gonna read the will. Come on, he's gonna get his money. Uh, and so, I, Pale Face Potter, the greatest Indian fighter ever to hit the West, being of sound mind to bequeath to my son, Junior, my entire fortune. The reason I leave all of my money to my son, Junior, is that being of sound mind, I... Well, I won't bother to read the last paragraph, Junior. It's merely an expression of your father's love for you, his son. Oh, just a minute. Listen, I, I was so young at the time, I don't remember many of the things that Daddy said about me. He poured out his heart in this will. I'd kind of like to read it. The reason I leave all my money to my son, Junior, is that being of sound mind, I can't leave my money to my wife because I ain't never forgiven her since the day she presented me with an idiot for a son. I was the only child. But this idiot is all I got in the world, which shows you what a lousy spot I'm in. I never knew Dad felt that way about me. I always knew I was kind of a schnook, but I'm a nice schnook, ain't I? <laughs> Even at Harvard, I took a course in good schnookery. I'm sorry, Jim. All Dad's friends like me. What a reception. All those smiling faces out there. Some of those faces out there aren't smiling, Junior. You see, your father left town in a hurry. He left owing a lot of bills to a lot of people. They expect to be paid out of the money you inherit. There's your father's chest, Junior. Hasn't been moved since he put it there. Here's the key. It's a Yale lock. Wish I had my gloves. Just on. See you, Mom. Go right away, Wolverly. I'll be right back, Junior. If they hang Junior Potter. 
why they should be ashamed of themselves. For his sake, I hope he finds a lot of gold. Well, where that mob's acting, he'll need it. Look at that big fellow with the block and tackle. Why, they'll tear him limb from limb. Oh, the whole thing makes me sick of my stomach. Well, Junior will be worse than sick of his stomach if he doesn't get that gold out here. You hold him off. I'll go get him. Go! Thousands of gold dollars. Go! 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 It's all there. Gold slippers, gold trinkets. My daddy's gold. Oh, I got gold rocks, gold stones, gold stones, gold gold stones. <laughs> I'm rich. I got millions. I tell you, steady on. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm all right. <laughs> we really. Come here. Come here. We really. We really. Gold. Now I got gold. Now I can afford a gabardine head for summer. Gold. <laughs> I say we string him up right now. We'll never get paid. He's got tricky eyes like this old man. My bill's been due to him for 30 years. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, please, listen to me. Mr. Potter is suffering from shock. The sight of all that money in his father's strong box is just too much for him. Now, your bills will all be paid within two days according to the terms of Pale Face's will. <laughs> Should I take you to your hotel, Mr. Potter? Mr. Potter, Mr. Potter, Mr. Potter. Can anyone call me nuggets? We want our money. Money! 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 Playing our song. <laughs> she won the West. She won it because she was a loaded dice. My daddy. How can I ever thank you for all the money you left me? And I know you didn't mean to die, Daddy Mine, without paying your bills. You just kind of keeled over before you could open your big, fat Western wallet. And I know you're happy up there, branding those stray angels and plucking on your harp and singing buttons and bows and kai ya yippee ya yo ya yo Soon, huh? We figured 
Major might be too busy seeing to it that that college fellow didn't sneak out of town. If he tries to leave town, I'll smash his brains in. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. You might get in trouble with the law. It'd be just as easy to unfix his transportation. Well, we'll be seeing you. I got interested in young Potter something like, didn't you, Ray? You know, Doc, I'm interested in a lot of things. I'm interested in music. And I'm interested in keeping Mr. Potter in town. Unless I miss my guess, his father's gold will create a lot of interest with a certain party. 30,000, 30,000, and 35,000. And I know where the next one was coming from. Since when are you making the plans? Something you ought to know, Mike, this afternoon. I, I know, a couple of strangers. Medicine men dropped into town. I don't mean them. I mean a fellow called... Junior Potter came from the east to get his father's gold. All right, couple. I'll take care of Mr. Junior Potter. This is going to be my own private party. Where do I come in? Don't ever come to a party unless you're invited. Forget about Mr. Potter. As soon as I get him under a full moon, I'll empty his father's chest. So you see, boy, that's how I know that chest of your paws was as empty as his head. Dad's head wasn't empty. I know because Mother used to rattle for me when I was a baby. You formed me with partners, boy. Pale-faced Potter and Ebenezer Hawkins. Prospecting by day and prospecting by night. Hey, tell me about the nights. Man, take some. Don't you get the Demitasse size? You look pale. The color's left your cheeks. I know. My blood's going down to my hip pocket to count my money. Your paw wouldn't put his gold in the bank. He didn't trust banks. He was too crafty for that. But he hid the gold somewhere. This water's warm. Well, then your pa had to get back to Boston before he had a chance to tell me where he hid the gold. But he must have told you. Dad was too crafty to tell me to think you an idiot. Oh, stop feeling bad, boy. You gotta start thinking. Your pa must have said something. You gotta remember where he hid his gold. Cause if we find it, boy, we'll be rich. Gold, gold, millions, billions, gold, gold. I got gold shut eyes. Gold, gold. Steady up, we did that bit. <laughs> now you gotta start thinking. <laughs> No wonder that water was warm. Hey, Doc, there goes her feet. Sure good to hear you intend to settle down in this whole buck pass, boy. Yeah. Schmeier, Schmeier. Oh, Dad. Yes, I've been thinking seriously of squandering my fantastic fortune here. Sort of a Dow College branch of Harvard. Saw buck annex with a billion lampoons. You better stick close. Yeah, if you're right, he should lead us to the torch. I remember the time that Daddy was telling me about when he fought a redskin with one hand tied behind his back. Beat him to a pulp, too. Of course, it might have been a different story if that redskin hadn't had one hand tied behind his back. Oh, Daddy loved killing Indians. He didn't consider his day complete unless at least one redskin bit the dust. Some of those dopey looking Indians bit so much dust they had to brush their teeth with a whisk broom. I would. I. Uh, whoops. I, I thought you were wood. Like a. <laughs> You've heard of wooden Indians, huh? Come in. Sorry, no table without a reservation. You get it? <laughs> reservation? That's a, that's a joke, like. And, well, uh, you see, I'm the son of Pale Face. You've heard of Pale Face, the great Eskimo fighter? Hated Eskimos. Hated them. They, they taught him how to rub noses, and I inherited this. This is what I... I was... Well, don't take any wooden Indians, huh? I mean, wooden nickels. Wooden nickels. <laughs> that reservation's pretty funny, you know. You got to tell the truth. Oh, well. <laughs> see, that's the big difference between Dad and me. Having an education, I believe, in letting Indians live. Poor old dad never had any schooling. He was a self-made moron. Of course, I'm different. I only associate with intellectuals. Now, well, this sounds like an intellectual joint. Glad you got your form. How am I doing? Fine, boy. We got him fooled. Now, keep acting like your poor chest is rude. But keep thinking. I keep thinking of this. Those weren't the words. 
Now act like you got many. Son of chicks like your father used to. And remember you're not a mouse, you're a man. Repeat. Give this millionaire something that'll put hair on his chest. I got hair on my chest. Give me something that'll part it in the middle. <laughs> what do you have? I don't have a horse's neck. How about you? Well, you're still two horses. Your father's favorite drink. One pale face special. Coming up. So we have a straight celery tunnel. I'm glad you wrote that letter to Sam. Stroll through the rock for it. You see, at college, I majored in geology and anthropology and running out of gas in Bunker Hill. What's your name, honey? Well, my friends call me Mike. That's a pretty masculine handle for such a feminine pot of goodies. Mind if I take potluck? Maybe the gal that want to be bothered. Sir, I resent this intrusion. You have the nerve, the audacity, the guts to. Pardon me, moi, madame. You have the guts to interrupt this tete a tete. Again, pardon me, moi, madame. Now, vamoose, cherche. Now, let's see, where were we? Put that gun away. Yeah, let that be the thought for today. Blow out his yellow liver. <laughs> Blow out my liver? You mess up the onions. I... Put it away. You heard her. Give me back my yellow liver. It matches my spine. You know I don't believe in shooting. Someday you'll be sorry. You're so tenderhearted. <laughs> tenderhearted never won tender liver, I always say. <laughs> Guess I was pretty stern with him. Now about that deal in the cellar. Excuse me, ma'am. You're excused. I'm talking to the lady. What do you think I'm talking to, a duck? Just a minute. Let the man talk. You don't need him. Yes? I happen to know the song the stranger requested. Would you like to sing it? Hi, thanks. Oh. What do you got in your pockets? Excuse me. Horses, Jim. A western ranch is just a branch of nowhere junction to me. Give me the city where living's pretty and the gals wear fine to me. East is east and west is west and the wrong one I have chose. 
So let's go where you keep on waving those frills. And flowers and boxes and bows. Rings and things and buttons and bows. Tough as nails, hard as bricks, Harvard class of 96. Don't there be me in this prairie. Take me where the cement goes. Eastern stuff ain't nearly rough enough. I'm the brute who's wrecking the jails. Chewing the bars and spitting out nails. I was peaches, I was cream, I was captain of the team. Give me a he-man who's sharp as broken glass. I was known as Harvard's toughest coup, the scourge of Boston Mass. Rock em, sock em, make them quit, hit them where they know they're hit. In the days gone by, they used to sign for the city fashion show. Now I wear coyote underwear, I use bullets to button my clothes and tie my shoes with rattlesnake bows. Bullets for buttons and snakes for bows? Oh, I'm so mean, I hate myself. Give me eastern trim where women are women in high silk holes and peekaboo clothes and French perfume that rocks the room. You're all mine in buttons and bows. I love coffee, I love tea, I love the girls and I love me. You're all mine in buttons and bows. Never made the Harvard crew, won my letter in a canoe. You're all mine in buttons and bows. Just a girl when I was ten, darn if I ain't ready again. You're all mine in buttons and bows. When I was twelve, oh what a joy, mom told me I was a boy. You're all mine in buttons and bows. After the dance, we parked in an alley, I wonder what's become of Sally. You're all mine in buttons and bows. You can have a great big smack if you give my bean bag back. You're all mine in buttons and bows. You're a doll and I'm a dandy. Let's chip in for cotton candy. You're all mine in buttons and bows. Well, let's have it. Here's mud in my throat. Put a head on it. Junior Potter, boy millionaire. Can I come in? I'm taking a bath. Oh, can you come out? I mean, when you're through taking the bath, I'd like to take you for a little spin in my horse's carriage, and we could park in some nice dark spot, and I could show you the luminous dial on my watch. I mean, we could flabber and sort of figure out the best way to lavish my rich daddy's fortune on you. Well, I'd love to talk about your daddy's gold, but don't get the idea I'm mercenary. I like it for yourself, Junior. The way you look, I think you're the handsomest man in the world. Well, I wouldn't say that, but. I appreciate your honesty. Well, now that I know how you feel about me, I want to relieve your mind and tell you that I'm not going to play hard to get. Before you know it, you'll be kissing me full on my soft, warm, red lips. Oh, how I'll envy her. I'd be very happy to take a ride with you, Junior, as soon as I get out of the tub. Out of the tub? Really? <laughs> you should have heard that line. Can. Besides, my eyeball might get stuck. Look, let's go. My car is parked down at the livery station. I'll meet you there at midnight. You run along now, Junior. Oh, no, I wouldn't think of leaving you unprotected like this. You being in the water, a couple of Annapolis men might come along, and you know how those sailors are, anchors away and all that. No, I'll stand right here and guard your door, little lady. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, a wind. My baby's more than willing to make the evening thrilling things are right for a weenie. And I can tell you, you can count on me. I got the maid out dating, waiting patiently. I'm sprucing up to loosen up and have a spree. I for her a figure, she's for me. Tonight will be a beauty. Yep, totally. Time for Romeo's 
boy, you got a sink. I've been doing plenty of thinking. I didn't go to college 14 years for nothing. I got it all figured out. It just so happens the richest girl in town is crazy about me. You mean Mike? <laughs> By tomorrow, she'd be Mrs. Mike Potter. Don't you get it? I marry her. This is California, community property. I divide her money. With my half, I'll pay my stingy old daddy's bills. The rest is gravy. But we'll have that woman on our hands. Please, keep your hands out of my gravy. Now, if you give me your word, you'll take a bath. You can be my best man. Well, here we go. Open them up wide, Ed. I'm going to whiz on to fame and fortune. Gravy, gravy. Snake Canyon at 9 o'clock. It's almost 8. You haven't got much time. 
thought you said your date was with a dude. It is. I don't like my gal getting friendly with other men. I told you what to do. Well, do it. She's as lovely as the rose that she wears. Here's to the dearest, my one in the world. She's the answer to all of my prayers. California rose, I see the light of love upon your face. California rose, I I'd like to reward you for the serenade, mister. You know, there isn't another man in all these parts to buy my lips for any amount of money. Hey, Collier, if you're not gonna buy, please do not handle the merchandise. You were late. I didn't think you were coming, Junior. Uh, thanks kindly for the rose, miss. Where I hear from, we don't cotton the folks by cotton other folks' gals, but don't cotton the folks that cotton to them. That's cotton talk, see? I apologize, mister. Oh, you do? Well, then beat it. The whole kit and caboodle of it. That's caboodle talk. I love coffee. I love cream. Here comes the captain of the team. Yahoo! Yahoo! Huh? Where are you? Up here, Junior. Up here. Don't go away. I'll be right there. Ah, ah, ah. Why don't you come over here? I just met a bee that wants to tell us all about the birds. Sashaying the Mavericks and ran in my stray buck boards till I was plumb horn swagger. By the time I got to my car, some plum had done swagger my horn. Well, cozy. Okay, gal, get lucky. Now, take it easy, Mr. Potter. We have a whole night ahead of us. The whole night? Well, I gotta work fast, huh? No, wait a minute. Come over here. Sit down and I'll go and mix you a cocktail. Oh, well, don't go, gal. But the shake is in the other room. Okay, shake it here. I want to watch. Hey, you mind if I smoke? I kind of like to keep my lips busy while you're gone. Oh, music. Music in a big yellow moon from Mosey and Twixty Clouds. There's nothing like music in a big yellow moon. Keep a bit of hankering for the bunkhouse doing the same brush ooh la la. stay as beautiful as we are tonight. To the future and very wealthy Mrs. Potter. Let's dance, Dale. I'm aiming to shock my spurs with some fancy footwork. All right, I'd love to dance with my future husband. I'll leave. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
Trust a woman. I tell you, you ought to be thinking. Leave me alone. I'm tired. Dancing all night? Sure you're tired. What am I supposed to do? Sing you a lullaby? Well, sing me a lullaby. Nice, sweet lullaby. Like my daddy used to sing. Every night, my daddy used to sing me. Lullaby. That's it. That's it. Say yeah. Rock-a-bye, baby, on the treetop. When the chest falls, the bottom will drop. Don't you get it? That's the way my daddy used to sing it to me. The chest must have a secret bottom. What? Don't you just say that? Rock-a-bye, baby, on the treetop. When the chest falls, the bottom will drop. Yeah. And wake up. Where rich the gold must be there. Nothing in the world can stop me now. With this money, I can live.
shame. I liked him a lot. You like animals, eh? Then it's only humans you have a beef against. I find that animals mind their own business. Then if you don't like humans, why are you getting married? Oh, I'm not marrying a human. I'm marrying Mr. Potter. I found out last night that when it comes to love, Mr. Potter's an animal. A ball of fire. What'd you do? Light a torch under him? You figured everything out, haven't you, Mr. Federal Man? Federal Man? Miss Mike, you got me all wrong. See? I'm just a wandering minstrel. Come on, Mike. I'll let you try on the bridal suite for size. You've got no case, Roy. She's a perfect alibi for last night. You just keep her in there, Sheriff. I'll break her perfect alibi. <coughs> Sounds hollow. How do you get to it? Your poor head, something you really hit. I remember once Mom told me hitting the brew closet for two weeks. Of course, Mom didn't know the maid was in there with him. Uh, the gentle rapping of a woman. Mike. Oh, you darling. Soon I'll have all your money, you darling. Oh, oh, my darling. Open up, Ross. Smash this door to smithereen. Junior. Look here. It's in the port hand drive. It says to my young idiot son, Junior, and my old idiot partner, Ebenezer Hawkins. From Paleface. That spells idiot with two T's. Hold him off, Junior, hold him off. You always do the dirty work, don't you? Junior, the gold is here, we're rich. I found it. We're rich, 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 we're rich,
He must be crazy with the heat by now. You never can tell. This heat might tend to make him sane. The for dinner. Don't shake your head to me in that tone of voice. Ask them if they saw a white man go by. Charming. Looks like a Yale dormitory. Water. You can't drink that. The glass is cracked. Fine hotel, hot and cold running dirt. Told you. We were dancing. Come on, Potter. We haven't got much time, so start talking and talk fast. The quick round fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick round fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick round fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick round fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick round fox jumped over the lazy dog. Listen, Doc. I'll stay here until I break him down. You report to the governor. Well, this is all right. He might get away in his car. Not a chance. I hit the crank. And he can't get away on Trigger because Trigger's a one man horse and nobody can ride him but me. Oh, that four-legged friend. Oh, 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 four-legged friend.
You know I love you. I loved you ever since the first time I saw you. Steal your teeth. We can do this all night if one of us doesn't give up.
said, no, I couldn't get out of my tribe. I, I couldn't. Hey, honey, what am I, a wedding present? Look, I'm gift wrapped. Shut up. Shut up. You can't talk like that to me until after we're married. She's not going to marry anybody. We're going to kill both of us. Oh, not me. That'll be silly. Besides, we'll take a little kick out of my honeymoon. You're not so smart, Mr. Federal Man. I don't have to kill either one of you gentlemen. They'll do it. They're coming to get the Harvard man, but they'll get you too. So long, Jen. Just a minute, Mr. Delroy. But you found out my real name, too. Yes, and I found out that your father was swindled out of his fortune by old pale face. Mike, the governor knows an injustice was done to you. You haven't killed anyone yet, so why start now? I'll do all I can to get you off the short sentence. How do I know you're telling the truth about this short sentence, mister? Don't be hard to quit. You just have to believe me. We'll talk about that later. I'll stop the Indians before it's too late. <laughs>
Talking to the woman you love through a wire screen. Well, here she is now. Hey. 